So one of the things that um, <clears throat> as businesses grow and uh, start to become more successful, um, a lot of business owners uh, will take a look at forming a retirement plan for their, uh, not only for the business and their employees, but also for themselves. And um, it has a couple of really major important advantages. One is the, uh, the ability to reward and uh, obtain loyalty uh, uh, with your employees by giving them something that they can be vested in that uh, rewards them for their, uh, their loyalty and uh, retention uh, w with your business. But also on the other side, it uh, provides the owners and the, uh, the highly compensated uh, employees uh, the opportunity to uh, take more of their uh, compensation and profits on a tax advantage basis. So uh, there's a couple different approaches um, and it depends on your goals as to which one's going to be the most appropriate uh, for you. Um, there are some very simple plans that the IRS uh, offers uh, based around uh, the familiar concept of the uh, individual retirement account, the IRA. And basically uh, with a simple uh, plan that allows the employer to make contributions directly into the employee's IRA, that provides a chance to provide some reward and some uh, recognition of loyalty to those employees. It doesn't provide as much on the side of providing tax advantages to the owners and the highly compensated employees. Um, as you get into the more complicated plans, there is uh, additional cost uh, because you are complying with federal and state laws in terms of uh, you know how you are acting as the custodian of the, uh, the, the assets that your employees have in, in this retirement account. Um, but the more complex, the 401k and the profit sharing plans, uh, do provide some very significant options for uh, tax advantaged treatment because uh, you can contribute into that plan on a uh, tax favorable basis. Uh, if you're the owner, you can bring some of your profits. If, if you're a highly compensated executive person, uh, you can uh, bring more of that income into the profit sharing plan and that will be uh, advantageous on your taxes. Um, one of the things you really need to be aware of is the principle called non-discrimination and when you're getting into these more um, complicated plans, you do have to be aware that there's uh, basically the rule that you, the more that the owners and the highly compensated employees are getting, you also have to bring up the, the floor, so to speak, in what the, uh, the lower paid employees are also getting through the plan and uh, that's a very important thing and it does involve a uh, complicated calculation sometimes uh, as you go through that. But the advantages to that uh, can be uh, you know, very considerable, especially for a business that's growing. And as the, uh, the owners and the, uh, the executive people are uh, becoming more successful. So, and that's uh, something that definitely employers uh, should be taking a look at.